This is Adam reporting for Get Out There magazine, and this is the big one. 2013 Tough Mudder Montreal, billed as probably the toughest event on the planet. <laughs> Tough Mudder Montreal featured two days of obstacle running with waves of 550 departing every 20 minutes from 8 to 11 a.m. on Saturday morning and waves of 450 runners departing every 20 minutes from 10 to 11 a.m. on Sunday. Registration for Sunday's event was $10 cheaper and both days sold out early with a grand total of 8,000 participants. <laughs> Despite the high frequency of starting waves and large numbers, participants or mutters were evenly dispersed throughout the 16 kilometer course due to the long distance and difficult obstacles. So lineups at obstacles are less of an issue than at events that feature shorter distances. And since Tough Mudder is technically not a race as there is no official chip timing, lineups at obstacles are not as frustrating as they would be during an official race. The average finishing time for Tough Mudder events is about three and a half hours right, and there is a high emphasis on teamwork as 80% of all Tough Mudder participants right. register in teams and are encouraged to lend a hand to fellow teammates, strangers <laughs> and bearded race reporters. The Montreal Tough Mudder course was extremely flat, there were no hills whatsoever so if you're allergic to hills like some people I know, you'll like this course. I started during the middle of the day in the 920 starting heat and did not encounter any problem lineups at obstacles whatsoever. However, the course between obstacles was a lot muddier than my experience at other obstacle courses, so be sure to tie your shoes tight. However, this is still a relatively grueling 16 kilometer obstacle course with 20 challenging, unique and well-constructed obstacles, oh, yeah. including crawling in mud under barbed wire, ice baths, over inverted walls, crawling through tubes, Plenty of muddy trenches. Two very tall Berlin walls. Got it. Monkey bars with mud bath consequences. Dragging yourself through the mud along a fence. Along with the fan favorite Degree Everest quarter pipe where I had a blast helping people up. And the dreaded electric eel. and electroshock therapy, where mutters run through a combination of dead and live wires containing 10,000 volts of electricity conveniently placed in spectator zones. An estimated 3,000 spectators were charged an entrance fee of $20 for tickets purchased online and $40 cash on site and were able to watch 8,000 mutters tackle the most entertaining obstacles that were lined up in the spectator zone and complete the course achieving tough mutter status. After getting shocked with electricity and crossing the finish line, Mudders received their coveted orange Tough Mudder headband. This cool Tough Mudder finisher technical tee. And a free Dos Equis beer in the party zone. They're also selling plenty of Tough Mudder merch on site to commemorate your achievement. I'm here with wrestler Sexy Eddie. Eddie, what'd you think of Tough Mudder Montreal? Amazing, amazing. I'm here with all my fellow Tough Mudders. Let me tell you, favorite part was probably going through the foam at the end. Worst moment, that electric shock, I thought someone stomped on my spinal cord. It was crazy, it was nuts, and I'm going to do it again next year. This has been Adam reporting for Get Out There magazine from the 2013 Tough Mudder Montreal. Let us know what you thought about your Tough Mudder experience in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels to stay up to date with all our gear reviews and race reports.